Charles Arthur Space, October 12, 1908 to January 13, 1983, was an American film, television and stage actor. He was best known as Doc Weaver, the veterinarian, in 39 episodes of the CBS television series Lassie. Topic: Early Years. Born in New Brunswick, New Jersey, Space first delved into acting at Douglas College. Topic: <laughs> Career. Space began his career in summer stock theater and eventually began appearing on Broadway. His Broadway credits include Three Men on a Horse and Awake and Sing. He made his film debut in the 1941 crime drama Riot Squad opposite Richard Cromwell. The following year, Space appeared alongside Abbott and Costello in Rio Rita. He also had roles in Tortilla Flat 1942, Our Vines Have Tender Grapes 1945, The Fuller Brush Man 1948, and The Fuller Brush Girl 1950. In the early 1950s, Space appeared in various film serials including Government Agents vs. Phantom Legion, Canadian Mounties vs. Atomic Invaders, and Panther Girl of the Congo. In 1954, Space played the bandit Black Bart, or Charles Bowles, in an episode of the syndicated Western television series Stories of the Century. Throughout the mid-1950s, Space continued appearing in films such as The Spirit of St. Louis with James Stewart while guest starring on various television series. He appeared four times as Call. Tomkin in the ABC Western series, Colt.45, starring Wade Preston. During this time, Space had a recurring role on Lassie. Space was cast as Ben Hudson in the 1959 episode, Hang Em High, on the syndicated anthology series, Death Valley Days, hosted by Stanley Andrews. The dramatization focuses on the completion in 1861 of the first transcontinental telegraph line. Hudson determines that Confederates have attempted to sabotage construction because the telegraph would most benefit the Union government. Paul Birch and William Shallert were cast in the episode as Mike Walsh and Ellis Higby, respectively. In 1960, Space landed the role of the practical farmer Herbert Brown in the 58 episode NBC television series National Velvet, with Laurie Martin as his equestrian daughter, Velvet Brown, and Ann Doran as his wife, Martha. After the series ended in 1962, Space continued acting in both television and films. Among his roles were four Perry Mason appearances between 1958 and 1964. In his first appearance he played murderer Willard Scott in The Case of the Rolling Bones, and his final role was as murderer Edgerton Cartwell in the Case of the Paper Bullets. His last role was in a 1981 episode of the television series, Walking Tall. Topic. Death Space died of cancer at his home Hollywood on January 13, 1983 at the age of 74 equals equals filmography